perhaps Bitcoin and Ethereum are going to give us a bit more of a a smoke to the downside. Bearish engulfing candle on the hourly likely gets us some more downside. So what does that look like? If the market is bullish, we're going to hold this level at 2200. I think that's actually a little bit more of the case. And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris bringing it to you here from Westlake Village, California. It is bright, it is early, and uh, we're gonna jump into these price action charts. I got a trade running right now. Again, uh, day in the life of the trader up 19%. Uh, the days to the downside can be a lot more fun to the upside if you ask me, as long as you are prepared. And just wanted to show you <clears throat> kind of how I got into this position. Well, simply put, by ticking below the last hourly wick low, uh, looking for a quick move down to that nine exponential and potentially the not 0.5. I've moved my stop loss now into a profit, which it was up here, but now that we're into a bit of a profit, I figure why not uh, start the stream now? We'll talk about some Bitcoin price action here shortly. And uh, just, yeah, a few of the positions I have running and I dropped it down to the five minute and simply put by wicking above the five minute high here, probably gonna get a significant bounce and um, that's okay. Just for a little short term scalp play to the downside, also doing the same thing. By the way, if you want to uh, get on the best exchange out there, mexi.com, lowest for fees. I also have another trade running here, shorting Mr. Blur. Being a bit of a blur right now, heading to the downside and just looking for uh, just a move down to that nine exponential on this one. Um, as these rallied 10% uh, off the lows this morning and it does seem like um, perhaps Bitcoin and Ethereum are gonna give us a bit more of a smoke to the downside and I will move my stop loss into a profit on this one as well uh, right there just right there this one's up 94 percent and uh, because of that I'm going to flash close it and just take that one home right now not a bad little scalp right there uh, 86 percent gainer not bad if you want to learn how to trade as well I've got a crypto trading course that'll get you just your feet wet enough to do some damage just enough to get liquidated right here bitcoin 101 how to stack sats using technical analysis because at the end of the day it's all about stacking those bitcoin chips and uh, i wonder what ethereum's going to do what a bitcoin's going to do here at the moment and let's see did our Dewey position also taken out for a bit of a profit and uh, hey i'll take it you never get hurt taking a profit here and these uh, apparently some of the more bullish assets and remember using this uh, Fibonacci retracement tool you can see here and there's eight minutes left on this candle so if we do close as a bearish engulfing candle on Mr. Sui not to be confused with sushi Sui and uh, bearish engulfing candle on the hourly likely gets us some more downside so what does that look like so again uh, bullish assets are going to bounce off the 382 or the not 0.5 traps happen at the 618 so where could we catch the next potential reload for the short here on this one well a weak bounce up to that 618 a stronger bounce up in this zone do I think we get that much of a bounce? Probably not. The way uh, the way the market is giving up the ghost at the moment. Let's take a pick at NASDAQ. Um, see if we're getting a short term high put in here. You know, as long as we're uh, closing four hours above that nine exponential looks bullish to me. Got a bullish reset here and uh, yeah, pretty much uh, the area of contention on NASDAQ is gonna be 17,407. We've got Mr. S&P 500 uh, also looking bullish and Dixie, uh, Dixie kind of on the rise here. And as the dollar goes up, you'd expect your gold nuggets to be going down and uh, risk assets typically to go down. However, uh, it seems like the up market only here at, at the moment, we're bouncing off the support here on Dixie. So just keeping our eyes upon this as well. You got the four hour golden cross and a perfect test of the green 55. I would expect some continuations there. Uh, I want to pull up that high block capital once again. 
Again, there's a link in the description below for a referral if you want to take a look at where the liquidity is lying and perhaps we'll take a trade based off of that following up on ethereum from yesterday look at that bitcoin people are net short right now and i think we were saying yesterday you know more likely to get a bounce than not and what happened we got a small bounce and then a big rejection big rejection there and i want to pull up the heat map as well duplicate so now that people are net short it's in the market maker's best interest to perhaps catch up. And by the way, there's the long liquidation. So it does look like we're gonna swoop down at least one more time and grab a bit of that liquidity right there. Maintaining the 15 minute downtrend for Bitcoin. Let's see here. And make sure you drop a like and subscribe in the channel. Uh, it does help the algorithm pick the video up and get it out to more so always appreciate that and hey if you don't like it i'll smash the down button and write a nasty comment if uh don't worry you're not gonna hurt my feelings at the end of the day bitcoin dominance uh looks like it's perking its head up and eth bitcoin uh giving us that potential higher low area right now on the uh daily time frame and that's what we're kind of going to be looking for for eth to pick itself up by its bootstraps and uh, breakout retest of that trend line is good. Um, I would say as long as we don't lose the 618 area, which uh, yeah, is gonna be this level here at 0.05317. I'm gonna remain bullish on ETH over Bitcoin, um, at least in the moment and in the Satoshi pairing, maybe not the, the dollar pairing. Um, also note tether dominance is taking a leg up here so what happens when people are you know tether dominance is going up people are selling their bitcoin selling their altcoins and they are buying tether coins to uh escape the death of the downside of this market which I, guys i don't think you know after a 200 percent pump to the upside this year that a correction is due something else eth dominance okay taking the shaft there the CME gap was filled here. So, you know, if we blast on through this gap zone right here on the CMEs, well, uh, very likely, uh, very likely going to come back down to the next gap down. So keeping an eye uh, beholden upon this area today is going to be important. Also wanted to bring up, you know, the good old, uh, the moons. Do you want to check out the moons? For all you astrology people out there, which I'm not, gosh, I'm gonna come back to the moon. I wanna look at the Ethereum look pocket here on the heat map because I can see Ethereum is, well, taking a bit of a slack dive down to the downside. And uh, here we go, Ethereum. Um, so where is the next level down? We did yesterday talk about, I think uh, yesterday's price action was right in this zone we were saying hey look at that liquidity oh no 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 yesterday's video this is a one minute chart here so i all right i'm gonna do it i'm gonna add to my inverse perp trade to the downside why i'll show you in a minute um 15 minute time frame for eth let's take a look really quick so breakdown retest breakdown retest and uh i believe that liquidity is sitting right there right there to the downside and that's what you got to be able to do is flip bearish like you know fairly quick and that's why it's so important to watch these youtube videos every day take 15 minutes hit the fast forward button keep your education going when it comes to learning how to trade the market where is my heat map i just had it up let's go back and ethereum so the uh not point five hanging out there at 2072 if we do lose this level at 2200 on a daily closing basis very very likely well a little bit of a swipe lower and yeah i think i'm gonna get rid of that line make it a little bit more about and uh apparently this was the breakout level right there so do we want to pick up a long or do we want to continue with the shorts well this is not looking pretty on the screen here okay there's a little better. So if the market is bullish, we're gonna hold this level at 2200. I think that's actually a little bit more of the case. Um, visiting our our pivots yesterday. Let's see if I can get this drawn out just a little more accurately, maybe. I'm 
remember three touches makes a trend. So one, and I guess we could draw this from this level. And do you see three touches here? Technically, this is more of a bold flag, and these usually break to the upside, but in this case, we broke it to the downside, and uh, she is just pressing up on the 618 here. So chance, and again, on a, don't ask me why this works this way, that fib tool, I guess I'm gonna have to delete it now. So if we take this on the weekly time frame and good to, when in doubt, I'm gonna not say that saying. Uh, and a lot of people are asking, well, Chris, is that target up here at 3,500 still valid? And I would say yes, uh, unless we start uh, closing weeklies back below the 382, or sorry, the 618. So as long as this level holds here actually at 1900 bucks, well, you can still have a valid uh, breakout there, but uh, really you don't wanna see anything back below this pivot here at 2126 on the weekly. If we start to close there, below there on a weekly, then no bueno for Mr. Ethereum. Let's see. I want to bring anything else to our attention here. Neutron potentially putting in a excellent buying opportunity right off that green 55. What does the two day say? The two day says nothing interesting. Five day needs to hold that level at uh, 1.09. Bitcoin, yes. Most likely to bounce rather than not from this pivot. Word of the week bounces come up to here at uh, 42.5, strong bounce, all the way back to 45,000. Still thinking that, uh, and I'm still thinking we're gonna get a bit of a bounce here, but I uh, could be wrong. You know, I don't have a crystal ball. Technical analysis is just an art form. It's not an exact science, but back on to why I was thinking about maybe add to the short. So Bitcoin liquidity is going to lie uh, right here down at 38.5, 38.5. Essentially, if we can defeat this area, the next level 37.6. So hopefully they don't go for it all in one shot. Hopefully it's a slow, steady bleed to the downside. And boy, I, I don't know if the caffeine's not hitting me or if I worked out too hard at the gym today, but I am just feeling a little bit on the sleepy side here. Okay. Checking out the banter bubbles on the hourly time frame. APT getting a rip to the upside. And, you know, to be frank, I think those are the ones I want to start to fade. The ones that appear to be. Oh, look at that bounce we got off of Sui here on the hourly time frame. Or are we going to get the bounce? Is the question. Are we going to get the bounce before? So, bearish engulfing candle did close. Did I get stopped out before that thing hit? I did, and it continued on down, and I believe it is gonna continue down more, so perhaps I add to my short, add to my shorts. Wow, that was the difference in $5,000, $5,000 on that trade. Two hours gonna close in the next. Let's continue to fade this one because, uh, I just turned $140 into $1,300 over the last two weeks. Yes, it's possible in the land of cryptocurrency. My name is Chris Mitchell. I am the CEO of Crypt Courses, and I'm bringing you this video because I'm going to give you some really good information on how to buy, sell, and trade digital currency. Now, you've probably heard about a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto but you don't feel safe or intelligent enough to make the investment. That's why I created Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. It's the crypto traders dream to starting your crypto journey. It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and we will get you your free guide today. Well, it could definitely go for more to the downside, so. I'm just gonna add a little bit here. Boom, sell short. That's how you do it, guys. If you're selling short, <coughs> come on. Pick my order up, there it is. There she is. Man, I, I should have had the settings on. You wanna have your settings on uh, limit order, isolated 10X, just a 10X short to the downside, not bad. And uh, brief little target here. Let's see if Sui is on banter bubbles, but back onto Ethereum and the heat map here. So we identified 38, 36,000, some liquidity lying down there. 
and yesterday we saw this liquidity here. The market was just right here. I think we put in a bounce, took a long, got out, and uh, this thing rolled over overnight, smoked to the downside, and came right into this liquidity and put in a pretty nice bounce there. That was a bounce from, is this Bitcoin again? It is. Can you give me the right chart, please, sir? And I guess I will move this over here so I can watch it closely. And yes, now I remember. So yesterday's stream, we were right here and we were saying, hey, look, we missed tagging this liquidity, had a little bounce. And then we just shafted right through the 2220. We said, hey, maybe that's not going to get hit. Next level is, you know, are they going to come for it? Well, only time will tell. But uh, that's the main level to hold there. You know, if we are going to get one more swoop to the downside, that's where I suspect it goes. And let's see if we get a bit of a repeat from yesterday, which is right around this time. We have this bounce, double bottom, very similar action we've got going on right now in the 15 minute time frame for this one. Very similar ideas. Deso holding it up strong off that green 55. <coughs> strong bounce in trending markets. That is what you would suspect. How's our look back on to Mr. Ethereum? Where are you, Mr. Bielik Buterol Beam? I just want to check on that. Yeah, get it shafted. M formation. As long as we hold this middle wick here at 21, uh, call it 2120. I think that is my main uh, case for for ETH right now. That is my main case for ETH right now. It's just a swipe of the lows here at 21.1. I'd expect a bounce on the first pass. And as long as we don't close below that level, then let's stay bullish. Um, yep, that's it for today, guys. I hope you have a blessed and highly favored rest of your day. I will see you in the next one tomorrow. And uh, Bitcoin did lose the critical level. <laughs> one more thing. We didn't even talk about Bitcoin, I don't think. Perhaps one more thing here is going to be <coughs> this. The last thing we're going to talk about right here is going to be this. And I'm just curious to see on Ethereum here. Where is the next major node? We're coming in. Well, we just closed an hourly closure for Bitcoin and Ethereum. And uh, short term bearish engulfing here on Bitcoin. So we're going to test the bottom side of the range one more time. This is the chance for a little bit of a difference. And where's an easy way to get a little TP going for this other position to the downside? Well, I'm going to show you guys how I do it. I will show you how I do it on Bybit here. So currently up. So if I am going to target a move, that 1618 Fib is 2155. Very close to the next level of liquidity down on the heat map, which is at 2155. So base case for that, if we lose that region, are goosing the odds in the favor of the bears for a bit of a swipe lower down to maybe $2,000 for Ethereum, Bitcoin. Yep, uh, Bitcoin, uh, the area of contention is going to be the area of contention, the area of fraught with peril. 38,450. If we lose that level, the next level, 37,550. Those are the areas to keep your eyes upon. And <clears throat> you know, short term on the hourly time frame, momentum will cross down below 38,752. 38,752. That's quite a bit lower here. So we're going to need an immediate shaft to the downside if this thing is going to reverse. And you do have uh, how many drives of bullish divergence? One, two, shot to the 21. If we can confirm this as a higher low on the next hourly closure, I'd be looking for a shot to the green 55 at 40,890. That would kind of be a retest of the breakdown level that we saw from yesterday. All right, I think that's it for today, guys. Hope you have a blessed and highly favored one. I will see you in the next one tomorrow. Make sure you like and subscribe, throw a like, post a comment, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care.